wanted to show you how to update or remove some things from a template that you might choose in this classic Wix editor. This is not the Wix Studio, this is the classic Wix editor, which I still use a lot because the Wix Studio, it, it's a little more challenging, has a few bugs and things that um, they're still working out, and I find that this classic Wix ed editor is still currently my favorite editor for my clients to be able to modify. But let's say you pick a template in Wix, and it has some options that you don't need. In this case, I'm working with a California Eye Clinic. Um, I usually choose a template just as a starting point, but usually change everything about it. Usually uh, templates in Wix are, well, they're all customizable. You can change them completely from head to toe. I like to have a template just to start with because it kind of helps prompt me to, to start in my design process, but typically the end result looks completely different than the original template I start with, and that's fine. Um, so this is a template that I picked because of the color scheme and I thought this is a good starting point. I'm probably going to change everything about this though. Uh, one of the things that needs to be changed is they're an eye clinic. They don't have classes so we don't need the bookings uh, application that has been already installed into this particular Wix template. So I wanted to show you how to get rid of some of those extra sections that you might not be using such as the bookings pages. Um, if you come into this page editor here on the left hand side and then click on this little gear, you can actually delete the bookings and app completely from your site. Uh, you can always add it back later, of course, but if you're not going to use it, get rid of it. That way it's not taking up room and confusing the issue in your editor. Uh, it may take a couple minutes to delete for a few seconds. Um, there's also, I noticed that this uh, site template had a members area as well. We don't need that for this client. So I'm going to delete this members area. And again, this may take a few seconds to complete. And lastly, we have programs. Um, this is another app that Wix had installed just for this particular template that I chose. I don't need it, so I'm going to delete this. Another thing that it installed that I don't, I find that a lot of clients don't necessarily want um, is a chat box. Uh, chat boxes are, can be interesting if, if you want to install the Wix app on your phone and, and try to be available. You can also make it so that they will um, just collect information from people. So there's really not a real live um, chat response. Um, and that's what some people do. I find that we, I just get rid of this because most of my clients are not using a live chat. They figure if people want to contact them, they can contact them on the contact form. So if you have this on your site template and you want to get rid of it, you just simply click on it to select it and then hit delete in your, on your keyboard. It's as simple as that to get rid of that chat box. You can always add it again um, using the add apps feature, but uh, in this case, I do not want it. So those are just a few quick tips on how to simplify a Wix template out of the box so that you can remove some of the things that you might not want. Um, I'm going to also delete some of these pages because I don't need uh, these instructor pages and booking pages. So um, I might keep the about and then redesign that to work for this client as well as the contact. Let's also get rid of the plans and pricing because we don't need that. And by deleting those pages, that actually deletes the app as well. Um, and now I'm kind of starting with my fresh slate. So I have a template to start with. I can start adding pages as desired. Um, and you can choose blank page or you can choose any of these templates, which is also a nice way to start out if you're not sure where to begin. Um, I usually start with a blank page because I think it's just easier as a, a designer, but sometimes I'll pick some of those other uh, pages templates as a starting point and then you can rework them. Again, in Wix there is no permanent page template. Any page you have you're going to be able to modify and add elements to and completely change it. So don't feel like by choosing any template that you're stuck with that template. You can of course delete everything on the page and start afresh and each page on Wix can be unique. So your home page can look very different from your, your doctor's page or your about page or contact page. Don't worry about templates. What That's one of the great things about Wix is you're not confined to any templates on any particular page. Um, 
and you can come in and add more pages over here on the page menu at any point um, very easily. And again, you can also choose some existing formatted templates to use, but don't forget that it's not set in stone, so you can change everything about this. So this, this is another I, Our Doctors page I created here um, just to show you. Now I can come in here and change this whatever to be whatever I want. Um, I can delete whole sections, so if I don't want to have the headshots, I can delete those. I can add new sections. The sections as well come with lots of pre-templated options, um, and then you can modify them too once they're in there. Like um, here's here's an example of some columns. I can click on Manage Columns. I can swap the columns. I can also change some of the columns, um, the proportions or the way that they're uh, aligned. So lots of options here. Uh, let's go here. If I choose, if I click off of it and click on it once, I should get the option to change some of, let's see if I can do this, change the layout. Yeah, so if I have the whole thing selected, I usually have to click off it and click on it again, but then I can also change the layout. So I can adjust if I want the picture to be bigger or if I want to reverse the layout. Um, all these things are easily done. I can also change the column background by clicking here and choosing an image or a video. Uh, Wix has lots of free images that you can get from Wix. There's also Unsplash, which are free, and there's also the very high quality Shutterstock images that are available at $2.99 a pop. So that's a great deal and has a good search for finding images that you might want to use. Of course, you can also upload your own photos, and I always recommend that to clients. If you have unique your own unique photos, use those if at all possible, and use these as a supplement. You can also adjust the background uh, blend, so you can fade things back. You can change the background behind them. There's lots of options here, as well as positioning the image so it shows from the bottom up or the top down or the left to the right. Um, usually the center works best, but just play around with the image. It depends on the image that you're using and what is in that image that you want to focus on. You can also put in image text here. This tells Google and anybody with... Uh, accessibility tools what this image is. So lots of options here. Again, you don't, you're not set with anything in Wix. These are just a few quick tips on how to modify your template that you've chosen, remove pages or things like applications that you don't need so that you can start fresh and create a custom site for what your needs are. Happy Wixing!